underwater adventurers. Are you ready to dive deep? Deep, deep down into the big blue sea? Put on your imaginary scuba gear. Because we're going on an amazing journey to meet the incredible creatures and see the wonderful sights of the ocean. It's a whole different world down there. Full of color, mystery, and so much life. Let's see what we can discover together. First up, let's talk about where all our fishy friends live. This huge, watery world is called the ocean, and the very bottom of it is the seabed. You might see soft sand, tiny pebbles, or big rocks down there. And what's that colorful, wavy garden? That's a coral reef. A coral reef is a busy city for fish, built from tiny animals called coral. Look at all the amazing animals. That one with eight wiggly arms is an octopus. Can you count them? One, two, three, eight, and whoosh. There goes a fast swimmer. That's a shark. Not all sharks are big. Some are quite small. Oh, and look at that gentle giant, a whale, swimming gracefully. Whales are mammals, just like us and they breathe air. That's why you see them come to the surface. And there's its playful friend, a dolphin, leaping out of the water. Let's find some smaller critters. See that one with a hard shell and a big pincher? That's a crab. Crabs walk sideways. Isn't that funny? And buried in the sand, you might find a clam, which has two shells hinged together. Floating gently by is a jellyfish, looking like a beautiful, glowing blob. But be careful, some can stain. And look at that tiny, colorful fish darting around. That's a clownfish, just like in the movies. It loves to hide in the sea animal, which looks like a flower but is actually an animal. What other treasures can we find? Digging in the sand, you might discover a seashell, the empty home of a sea creature. Or maybe a starfish, which isn't a fish at all but is shaped like a star. Sometimes you can find smooth, beautiful sea glass, which is old glass polished by the waves. And all those green, leafy things waving in the current. That's seaweed. It's a type of algae and is super important food for many sea animals. Let's meet more ocean residents. There's a slow and steady sea turtle with a big shell on its back for protection. And that's a seahorse, a funny looking fish that swims a prot. The male seahorse is a great dad. He carries the babies in a special pouch. Scurrying along the bottom is a lobster, another creature with big claws. And over there is a stingray, gliding like a pancake with a long tail. The ocean has so many different places. Near the shore, you have shallow water where you can wade. As you go deeper, you reach the sunlight zone where most of the animals we know live. Even deeper is the twilight zone where it gets darker and the creatures start to look a little strange. And way, way down is the midnight zone where it's pitch black and the only light comes from glowing animals. This is called bioluminescence. Can you say that? Bioluminescence. It's like having a built-in flashlight. Let's look at some more unique fish. That's a puffer fish. When it gets scared, it puffs up like a spiky ball. And that's a swordfish with a long, pointy bill that looks like a sword. Flying through the water is a manta ray, a giant, graceful ray that looks like it has wings. And hiding in the rocks, you might spot a murray eel, a long, snake-like fish. The ocean is a team. Tiny creatures called plankton float in the water. They are a super important snack for many animals, from small fish to giant whales. And you can't forget the shrimp, 
a small, tasty crustacean that zips around. A group of fish swimming together is called a school. They swim in a school to stay safe from bigger fish. Let's review some of our new friends. We met the clever octopus, the speedy shark, the giant whale, and the playful dolphin. We saw a crab, a clam, and a jellyfish. We found a clownfish hiding in the sea anemone. We also learned about the coral reef, the seabed, and seaweed. That's a lot already. But wait, there's more. How about a walrus with its long tusks? Or a seal, which is a fantastic swimmer and loves to bask on rocks. And don't forget the manatee, also known as a sea cow because it's a slow, gentle plant eater. Up in the colder parts of the world, you might even find a beluga whale, which is pure white. Let's look closer at the reef. You can see a sea urchin, a spiky, round creature, and a sea cucumber, which looks like a cucumber from the garden but is an animal. There are also beautiful sea sponges, which are simple animals that filter water for food. And that fish that can change its colors to hide, that's a cuttlefish. It's a master of camouflage. Let's count some more. We have the sea turtle, the seahorse, and the lobster, the stingray, the puffer fish, the swordfish, the manta ray, and the murray eel. We learned about plankton, shrimp, and the school of fish. We talked about seashells and sea glass. That's so many new words. The ocean is so important for our whole planet. The big, moving streams of water are called currents. And when the ocean level rises and falls each day, that's called a tide. The water in the ocean is salt water because it has a lot of salt in it. We've explored so much today, from the sandy seabed to the colorful coral reef. We've met tiny plankton and giant whales. We learned about bioluminescence in the deep, dark midnight zone. You now know about a walrus, a seal, a manatee, a sea urchin, a sea cucumber, a sponge, and a cuttlefish. You're becoming a true ocean expert. Let's do a quick lightning round. What has eight arms? An octopus. What has a big shell on its back? A sea turtle. What looks like a star but isn't a fish? A starfish. What puffs up when it's scared? A puffer fish. You got it. Wow, what an incredible journey. We learned so many new words about the amazing world under the sea. I had so much fun with you today. Keep being curious and keep exploring the world around you. Thank you so much for diving in with me. If you had a whale of a time, make sure to come back for our next adventure. We're going to leave the ocean and explore the forest to learn 50 new words about trees. It's going to be so much fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.